Hello Capricorn, I hope you're well in today's reading we'll be looking at however you're thinking about for January. I believe that you're not in contact with this person. There's little to no communication. There may have been some sort of disappointment ending between the both of you. Let's start with their overall stance. We have three of wands, four of wands in reverse. So this may have been someone who was at a distance from you. Three of wands can signify distance whether physical or emotional. Why is three of wands here for the person in Capricorn's mind? Look, look who you were dealing with, the devil. Ten of cups in reverse. Yeah, this may be someone, there was separation, some sort of breakup here. Why is four of wands in reverse? The seven of swords, wheel of fortune. This could have been someone who's a bit of an opportunist, but someone who's mentally unstable here as well. I think you dodged a bullet here. This won't be a cross watch or read because I'm getting... We have the Devil and Seven of Swords. This person had some... Perhaps there was an unhealthy obsession here at one point, but this person's moving away from that energy. But they're not bringing any stability your way. They're not coming together with you. And they are unstable here. They're moody. This is someone who has some internal work to do. For your stance, we have Four of Cups, Nine of Swords. Well, you're not offering anything. Four of Cups can be disinterest, feeling depleted, but there's a lot of anxiety when it comes to this situation. Emperor in reverse, see how you feel powerless, you feel you don't have control over the situation. Yeah, you're healing. You may be distancing yourself. You're not trying to control the situation. Your focus is on healing and perhaps some sort of work project. Why is Nine of Swords here? The Capricorn stance. It's a lot of overthinking, anxiety. Perhaps because this person was a cheater, a player, someone who was in and out. I'm getting a few scenarios. Some of you were in a commitment and you separated and that is causing you anxiety. Others of you, there is a lot of potential uh, when it comes to the situation. Perhaps a promise that things could move towards a commitment. A lot of your energy is talking about healing. We have star temperance. Some of you, very few of you, this won't be for everyone. You could be stressing about your work or your finances. But the situation threw you off balance. It had you feeling emotionally scattered in a way, all over the place, a lot of moodiness, and you're almost regaining emotional stability here in a way. Are you not happy with the situation? It didn't bring you fulfillment and you're trying to heal and work on yourself here is what I'm getting. Yeah, you're trying to come out of this Nine of Swords energy. You don't want to think about this. How they're feeling, magician, in reverse judgment, in reverse. Well, they're not doing anything to make this work. There's no second chances. Why is magician in reverse here for how this person's feeling? about Capricorn. Some of you, this was online social media connection. Someone who's at a distance. Five of Cups 
It's not that the situation or whatever happened between the both of you didn't cause them disappointment. It did. At one point, they were obsessed with you, but they're getting over it. And they may watch you from time to time, especially if they have access to your social media here. But they're not doing anything to make this work or come together. Why is judgment in reverse here for how this person is feeling? Some of you have rejected this person. Yeah, again, reference to travel. Perhaps distance was an issue. This person does have love for you. Ace of Cups and Chariot, that's Cancer energy. We have one, two, three, four major arcana in their feelings. Some of them are afraid you will reject them here as well. That you've moved on. Because I see that for how they're viewing it. Judgment and Ace of Swords. I think the reason they're not coming towards you is because they think there'll be conflict. There's indecision here with the judgment reverse and the, we had judgment reverse and upright in their feelings. So I'm getting someone who's confused of what they want to do when it comes to the situation. Should I go left or should I go right? And others of you, it's can be someone who's lacking confidence here as well. I don't see that though. The rest of the spread isn't supporting that. Well, let's from you and emotionally detached. There's distance here, physical and emotional. That is how they're acting towards you. For their intentions, we have Emperor, Upright, Chariot, and Reverse. Their intention is to stand their ground. This is someone who's controlling, dominating. It's my way or the highway. In their feelings, they were confused. In their intentions, they're not coming towards you. And they're very firm in their decision. Why is Emperor? But yeah, this is what I was getting. Page of Swords. They watch you, but you're not doing anything here. Why does this person watch Capricorn? That is if they have the means to do so. Some of you it's just wondering. Yeah, some of you may have blocked this person. Why is this person? They want some clarity, some answers. Why is this person watching Capricorn? Because there's no communication. Yeah, they want clarity. They want answers. They're confused. They want to know what you're up to. What is this person? Do you see the eye on the Ace of Cups and then we have the Page of Swords? It's a very curious energy. Ooh, look at the eyes. I always get a creepy vibe from the eyes with this magician. Yeah, very interested to know what you've been up to for some of you since this distance separation. Why is Chariot in reverse here for this person's intentions? Yeah, they're not planning on giving to this. They're holding back and choosing to stalk you in some way or just think about you. They have emotions, it's not being expressed. They're coming through as the Queen of Swords and Emperor, very rigid in their ways. Extremely stubborn. The most stubborn energy I've seen so far. For how they're viewing you, Hanged Man, Upright, Five of Wands in Reverse. They're viewing you as someone who's not wanting conflict. You're not doing anything, is how they're viewing you. Why is Hanged Man here for how this person's viewing? Three, seven of Swords and Three of Cups, the third party situation. You felt the situation was unfair. They think you're indecisive of whether you want to reconcile or if you want to hold back and move away from the situation. Yeah, but they don't see that. They don't, you're not taking action. 
And some of you, it's because of this person's player, like, in and out ways. You don't trust them. Perhaps the situation didn't get past the dating or getting to know each other phase. It's sort of stuck. Why is Five of Wands in reverse here? Yeah, you're not communicating, Knight of Swords, in reverse. You're not moving towards them, which is why they're curious. They're watching you. I don't see you communicating. In your outcome, we have Eight of Wands in reverse, Page of Wands in reverse, yeah. There's no initiation action here in your outcome. You're not moving towards them. Why is Eight of Wands in reverse here for Capricorn's outcome? Page of Wands in reverse again, twice in reverse. Some of you are losing passion, enthusiasm for this situation because it did throw you off balance. Four of Swords, Justice in reverse. It was unfair according to you. Perhaps you felt this person was taking more than they were giving. Something was its almost lopsided here. Judgment. Yeah, you've made the decision to hold back in your outcome because of past. Whatever happened in the past, you are losing enthusiasm or passion, attraction, because of what this person put you through in the past. That is coming through. For their outcome, we have King of Swords in reverse, High Priestess, Upright, Eight of Swords in reverse. They're choosing to release themselves. King of Swords in reverse is someone who's, again, stubborn, very closed off, detached, and sometimes can be someone who's holding resentment towards you. Let's clarify. Why is King of Swords in reverse here? Okay. It's not so much resentment, but they're... Fool, nine, ugh, I don't, this person's energy is a bit off. They're extremely selfish. Because if the King of Swords was upright, I'd say, okay, they're independent. Um, you know, they're focused on their goals. Their emotions are stable. They're self-reliant. But when it's in reverse, it's almost taking advantage of a situation, not being honest. It's almost to get something out of the other. Very manipulative. This person's withdrawing and they're not... They're not doing much here in their outcome and you're not either. You're not communicating, you're not initiating. Perhaps there was a lot of arguments not seeing eye to eye. Why is High Priestess here for this person's outcome? Yeah, they're missing this opportunity. Four of Cups in reverse. This person's very selfish, right? They're releasing themselves. Eight of Swords, Four of Cups in reverse. I don't see this situation really moving forward if the energies remain the way they are. They're watching you, but they're not offering you anything. It's extremely stubborn, fixed in their ways. I did ask if there's new love coming towards you. This is insane. We have King of Pentacles and the world. Um, yes. You actually have something amazing coming towards you. King of Pentacles is one of the more stable, reliable kings. Great for any long-term relationship. This person's quite accomplished, especially when it comes to their business, what they do for a living. Very dedicated, disciplined energy can be a Capricorn or Taurus or someone with Capricorn Taurus placements but it can be a fixed sign here as well which is Tor Taurus Leo Scorpio Aquarius this person may also may be at a distance from you world or they may travel for work or there may be some other differences between you with Saturn it can be age it can be race religion but this person will see your worth and they it's almost your other half here Right? Queen and King of Pentacles, which I see at the bottom of the deck here. You're focused here on the Three of Cups, whatever the situation was, but behind you is this Two Cups standing. You're very guarded. Seven of Wands, you're protecting your heart because of whatever these disappointments were. Right? But you're coming through as Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles upright. And it's almost your other half here, right? Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles someone you can build with. This is a long-term partner that you are attracting here, Capricorn. 
who is this king of pentacles for capricorn can be a scorpio we have the death wanting to come through who is this king of pentacles I'm a very busy person they do have a lot going on is what i'm getting who is this king of pentacles this person will be extremely physically attracted to you is what i'm getting Yeah, I don't think you know this person, star, but it's faded. The sun is when we, yeah, sun and the moon in reverse. You don't know this person, but I see you long term, family, commitment, stability, page of swords, ten of pentacles. This person will be very interested to get to know you. Hmm. Office affair, some of you. You'll meet someone at the office or connected to work. Tread carefully. Sacred bond. You will have a spiritual connection that will allow you to see yourself through the person you love. Divine timing. We can never manipulate time. You can only work with it. Start working hand in hand in your divine timing. Wow. Yeah. Divinely guided. New romance. Unspoken love. There's something new coming in. Some of you are meeting through work, but divine timing. I don't think it's too far because it is coming through in the cards. Okay, let's look at your oracle cards associated with this energy that was on your mind. We have big baby ignoring you. Yeah, perhaps very immature. Room service, do not disturb. Yeah, they're ignoring you. They're ignoring the situation. They're acting like a big baby. For those of you, this person ghosted you or is avoiding you. What would they like to say? Circumstances and unrequited. There was a series of unfortunate events in my life. I had to disconnect from the world. It wasn't just you unrequited i'm sorry but i wasn't that into you and i didn't have the courage to tell you but we also have rejection differences rejection again something you said made me feel rejected i figured i was saving you from me i was not in a good place yeah they're represented by the devil and seven of swords i felt my advances weren't reciprocated I don't have enough game when it comes to love. What you see is what you get. Yeah, very stubborn and set in their ways. Wasn't willing to make changes to accommodate the situation. I'm getting that. Oh. Okay, some of you revenge. This person can be quite spiteful. I'm going to give you a taste of your own medicine. It's going to take me a few months to come back. Keep your options open. I'm still very confused. Some of you, this King of Pentacles world is this same energy coming back, evolved, right? The world is also Saturn. It's when we're learning lessons. So through this situation, this person may be learning lessons. Am I saying wait for this person? No. But I'm seeing a win-win outcome, whether it's with this person or not. Because I did ask for new love. And we had King of Pentacles, the world. Either this person is coming through as a new person, right? They're changing their ways. They're taking responsibility for their actions. Or you're attracting someone who's more aligned here with you and your energy. There's, no matter how others behave, this person, I choose to respond warmly. With warmth, I can melt any icy exterior. I can soften any hard feelings. I can microwave any pizza. 
Today I adopt the saying, kill him with kindness and turn myself into a warm and loving serial killer. It's saying, don't let this experience uh, almost bring you down in a way because you're the queen of wands and that this energy, your warmth, it's your confidence, your warmth that is attracting this King of Pentacles energy to you in the first place. So it's saying don't lose yourself because you are coming through as the Page of Wands, Eight of Wands in reverse. Wands in reverse can also be when we're not feeling inspired, right? We're, we're, it's almost lackluster, not feeling confident, not feeling ex excited. So it, it wants you to step back into your Queen of Wands energy and know that you are a catch. We have expectation. Some of you are manifesting. You're calling this person in. Mature man. Some of you, this can be you. This can be this person. Right? We have King of Pentacles and Mature Man. Yeah, look at that. Main male, marriage, wealthy man, unexpected income. I think this person is will be unexpected. Yeah, this is what it's giving me. I'll leave that for your interpretation in regards to this King of Pentacles. A lot of you, it's new energy. We have expectation, mature man, marriage, and wealthy man can be some sort of authority figure, someone you work with. Some of you, it's not far from now. I saw three to six months. And those of you completely single, words of affirmation can be advice for you, Capricorn, because you are in the Four of Cups and Nine of Swords energy. That is anxiety, right? get one more if they want to tell us anything about this energy. Traveling for work, world and king of pentacles. Yeah, this that's literally straightforward. You know, it, it's the scenarios I'm getting other, uh, this person may be traveling for work and they run into you. It can be unexpected, right? The right place. The right time sort of energy. Others of you, I'm not sure. That is sort of the scenario. You may be traveling and they're traveling and you meet up. Some of you connect by the internet with the world. But it's definitely work came through strong with Office Affair and then King of Pentacles and Saturn with the world, right? Which rules our 10th house of reputation and career. But yes, Capricorn, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself. And if you would like a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. Otherwise, take care of yourself. And I'll see you next week. Bye.